Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Akashic Affirmations and my name is Angel. I am a psychic medium. Um, I'm here to do a reading for you today. And uh, I know they came to me as I was meditating on your cards. And you are supposed to read all of Jude. Um, but I will acknowledge... Uh, three is what uh, they it did stick out in my head so it says beloved ones though I was making every effort to write you about the salvation we hold in common I found it necessary to write you to exhort you to put up a hot a hard fight for the faith trust that was once for all time delivered to the Holy Ones. Beautiful message. Um, but it did right after, I did see the three. Uh, I did see a big fat one. And uh, as many of you uh, who are not uh, brand new subscribers and welcome in, um, I I didn't read it all, but um, the one stuck out, like really highlighted to me. Um, so I don't read the Bible, right? I'm sorry. Um, I do read what they give me. Um, I'm not a pretty big reader. Matter of fact, when I I, I try to read uh, some of John Edwards' uh, books. But uh, it's so hard if I'm not like thoroughly into something, I lose track, I lose concentration, people walk in. It's uh, really difficult for me. Um, I know I'm making up every excuse in a book. That's why spirit comes to me and says, you know, it's like a, a big uh, fat number or, you know, the word in my head. So, uh, it's just like, you know, I, I'm sorry to go on, but, um, I'll get to your reading in a second. Um, it's just like I was in the grocery store and you know how you have problems in line at the checkout? And I was like, oh, I'm going to have problems this time. And you know, you have no one to talk to, no, you know, no one to tell standing next to you. I wasn't with anybody and I'm like, oh. So, wouldn't it be, you know, um, yeah, they, I had two fruits and I took it out of the bag because, you know, the fruit, they don't, the stickers, you know, they come up and everything and ought to cut fruit. Well, I beat her and she comes up to me like and presses the button right in front of me. I'm like, yep, I had to take them out of the bag to scan them. I did you know, put them both back in the same bag. So, I guess that's what maybe they picked up. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm not, you know, I'm really not like that. So, I'll watch what y'all do. But anyway, I came up with a flower blossom reading. And it looks like a flower. And uh, it's what, uh, like the stem, okay, is what stemming from. Like your past. Okay, then um, the center of the flower is where you're at. And then we have where you want to be and what uh, you may not see coming. And then the reasoning behind uh, fate and where it's taking you, what it's teaching you. We have the outcome and then we have uh, what will you gain from this. Um, as far as what you will partake, not what spirit wants you to see, but what will you take from it. Uh, you know, because they try to make you see things. Um, that's what our ancestors are here for, to try and uh, push you into, uh, you know, because they see the bigger, the bigger picture. I need to slow down. I did cleanse your cards. We will be using the treasures of Takashi, uh, the bigger rod of weight, this tiny ducks of the rod of weight. Um, we're going to see who you are dealing with, with the little 
Scrabble cards. Um, we're going to get you what transits and planets and asteroids and signs what could be affecting you at this time. Those are very uh, knowledgeable. Gives you knowledge. You can go back and uh, read at what uh, a little bit deeper into it. And this is the um, Archangel. This is a female Archangel um, deck that I will use. But guys, how have y'all been? And this is going to be a reading for Cancer. So Moon Rising and Venus, you know how this works. But let's pray, guys. And I will invite my most highest loving possible angels to help me to tune into your love, guidance, frequency, and messages. And so it is. This is going to be a reading for Cancer. Please give Cancer the most accurate and present messages available spirit we love and thank you for your guidance and so it is um there may be something that oh wow because you had the uh tower with the ten of pentacles is what uh stuck out to me which is um something with your foundation is in your environment is coming to a screeching halt. So let's see for cancer. And I see the world flipped over. Oh, wow. You have a brand new beginning. It's something to do with your, you're going to be very passionate. Oh, so. Okay, you have been um, doing things not alone in the past, and um, I'm considering this uh, flower reading, but I just went right past it, so it may not have been for you. Huh. Okay, so... Um, you have been... I want to say doing things by yourself, but there's a, there's a cycle completion that's coming to an end when it comes to that. There, You want a new passionate start. Okay, so you've decided in your mind that you would like a counterpart. Hence the Ace of Wands. You want someone, uh, you want to take that new beginning. Uh, now, this could be your energy or another person's energy, or uh, someone that you could be dealing with. Three of Pentacles. This is about uh, fundamentally building a structure or learning how to build structure but you have options so I want to say um, I think you are tired of um, of where you've been being alone you're very prosperous you're doing, you're fundamentally uh, establishing yourself, okay, when it comes to the pinnacles around you. Um, you know, they, they grow, right? But you, she is doing things for herself, by herself. Um, you may have a little bit of help there with the bird. But this is a cycle completion. So, but you taking the initiative, this is a, a brand new start when it comes to your actions towards building. You, you, this is what you're desiring. Hmm. 
you're just not sure. Let me clarify. So you're ready. You're you're absolutely ready to have a counterpart. And I've seen it like this. This is how they want me to take this. Um, three of Wands. Judgment. Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. And there is the initiative. You've been wait waiting on a counterpart. I want to say to awaken to the fact that they need to give some movement of love towards you and take the initiative. I see that um, I, you may have been waiting patiently for someone to complete something so you can go forward. Hmm. You've been... Uh, not knowing which direction to go towards, so you're waiting. You're waiting on the movement. See? He's on his horse. And you're waiting on someone to take a new path. Because this is, uh, you have waiting right before judgment. I think you uh, have put some action towards uh, something and you set your sights on it clearly. And you say, you know, I just, I don't want to waste my time. I'm ready to go forward. But I'm also waiting on that person to make their mind up or for you to hear uh, from them. Okay, so your person has been going in to do some deep reflection. I think they've been broken hearted in the past with the three swords that are lying above them and been in that deep meditative thought over how they've been hurt, uh, how did their actions get them there. Okay, my heart's beating. Like, I'm getting um, heart palpitations. Almost like I, I want to cry. Um, you're getting, and this is why any tower reader would uh, really understand. The person who you love, who you're waiting for, Is the love of your life it is the uh, the Sun right that shines forever you know you always wake up and have that Sun in your face but they're deeply you're deeply bonded to this person look at him shackled chained And you've been under illusion about it. Hmm. Clarify the moon. The hermit. Deep reflection. About all the problems. Look, going in. See, he's going on walkabout. This is all the problems, the secretive things that lie beneath. Um, you could be, uh, wow. I mean, this is all me. <laughs> you have five majors in a row. No wonder why I was getting emotional. I have the biggest lump in my throat. 
um, this has to be affecting your your throat chakra like majorly. Like I said, I wanted to cry because everything is building up in my throat. You not being able to speak your piece, but reflecting on the problems that you and this individual had. Uh, there were some secrets that were, or you could be dealing with a Pisces. Let's go on. Oh, whoa. What else would you like to say, Spirit? We have another Pisces card that came out, which is the Hangman. Uh, you and this person set their sights out on a new path and gave the... Uh, learn how to give the action towards it but it puts you in a hanged man state or Pisces did which left you to move on wow I just dropped the wheel of fortune which is the Sagittarius card wheel of fortune's coming out Def destiny uh, divine timing. The Empress. The Empress is a nurturing caregiver. Okay, this is who I see as uh, your card. But otherwise, it's a nurturing individual, uh, feminine. I think um, you will have to move on because you just wasn't sure what to do. Which way was up? What do I do? Which way do I go? Which way do I go? So you picked up your mental thoughts. But now you're realizing that your destiny is the one That's nurturing. Um, so whoever this individual is, uh, you're realizing that destiny's coming in. And uh, you realize that this is your person. I think that you are uh, unsure of which way. Because uh, this person just, he's in the dark. With all the options. Bottom of the deck. Oh, jeez. So now we have a divine pair. Two of Pentacles. Unsure what to do. There's a decision that needs to be made. Could be financial. When it comes to the problems with the page, and here's the fool. When it comes to the new, the new things that will come up across your plate, if you and this individual get together, if you take your masculine stance, right, and stop juggling, it's going to cause problems for your new beginning. And it may affect your work when it comes to, this is the Sagittarius card, I can't make this up, you have impatience uh, to feed into the situation To heal the situation. It came in fast. When it comes to manifesting. To learn to create. 
a life together. She, uh, the queen, you know, she, she learns from tangible uh, ways. She, she is uh, learned. She's learned so much that she's on her way to be a master of stability. So it left you no other choice. I think this other individual um, you moved away from, I think you would really have to work hard uh, to fix this. I think um, maybe the Sagittarius, this temperance card, right, had to heal and to try and quickly manifest uh, learning to do things for themselves. And there's, that's the truth. The truth is, is they need to stay, take a stand over all this heartbreak and be the master of action when it comes to giving you a new start. But it's coming in slowly because they're giving to another situation that they've been handed from God. That's why the in and outness, and that's why there was too many burdens because there's three or more people involved. You need to walk away and then give communication because this person is looking at things with new eyes. Okay, we kind of went deep there. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Guys, if this reading's resonating with you, please give me that like. <sighs> okay, my heart is still beating a mile a minute. I'm just looking at the bottom of the deck. It is the two of wands. Taking a new path. May have been with the Pisces, but this is in the dark either way. I think you were heartbroken as well. To please and pray. I need to invite the most highest loving possible angels to help me to tune into your life, guidance frequency and messages. This is going to be a reading for Cancer. Please give Cancer the most favorite and present messages available, Spirit. Thank you for your guidance. So it is. And there's the Two of Swords. There's a decision that needs to be made. I just happened to look down. Oh, three just came out for you. Oh my gosh, can you cannot make this up temperance is stuck until the cycle completes oh my gosh I'm going to put him back okay because we already know this let's shuffle again and, and uh, let's try to focus on We did see how do you feed? How do you feed? How do you feed into the situation? We've seen the temperance card twice. Let's focus on this. Can you help us out with the temperance card? This energy. Who is this individual? The hanged man. This is the person who needs enlightenment. For their ultimate happiness. For their love. For their family. Please tell us something else. <laughs> whatever you like, spirit. Whatever you like. For cancer. Don't tell me that was the seven of cups again. Ugh. Options. Choices. 
not being able to choose because there's too many and you just don't know what is in that cup. River of Tears has been spilled. There's been a lot of emotions. Left a lot of people crying. Looking back on everything that happened. Knight of Pentacles. This person's going slowly towards creating what they like. But you're just unsure. You don't see that this person left you for reasons of movement. They're going slowly towards what makes them happy using the masculine and feminine to guide them through this but you're you're sitting back here see we have two positive cards and two negative cards i mean it's not necessarily negative but there's so many options that you're like oh my gosh all of this is this has been spilt already there's so many things that has happened before that I'm just going slowly towards the movement that I need. I think this person, you know, is off doing their thing. And you're just sitting here reflecting on the past and how everything crumbled. How everything, where your love was spilled. And how many times? And by who? But either way, this is slowly going towards moving through the challenges and tribulations that you have. Okay. Let's see. Going through war and using your feminine and masculine, you know, your creativity, your drive. Healing. Actually healing this. So you reflecting on everything that's happened is making you like downshift. They're showing me. I'm not, I'm not putting it in neutral. But I may for a minute. But I'm going to put it in love. I'm going to kick myself back. And I'm just going to ghost. And first. What else would you like to say? Oh, towards. <sighs> the Queen of Pentacles, they keep saying she's got the Midas touch. She learns how to master her frequency when it comes to finances, your investments, what is valuable in your life. So you're healing what is not important. You're learning to decipher and to go towards what makes you happy and then learning through the process of going through difficult situations to heal what you couldn't previously and it's going to create the balance see the karmic justice needed By you learning how to financially build your character is going to create your own balance. 
And that's going to bring the truth in the situation. This Pisces card keeps coming out. You've been under some type of illusions when it comes to Mastering love. And here we go again with the, the uh, majors. Oh, well, you have two majors and then you. So what you couldn't see when it comes to bringing balance to your life, the illusions that you've been under, when it comes to being content in love, that's what you're bringing the justice to. So you're learning about finances. You're learning how to be that, that king when it comes to love and knowing that what you put out into the universe comes back. Okay? Because the king here he has already mastered love. He knows that by sitting on his throne, he knows what he loves will love him back. And that energy comes towards him. And what I can see is things were being done in the dark because I think when you love, you love fully. And I think by you working on yourself when it comes to uh, to what's done to you, you know, in, in the because of this moon card, uh, things seem to come up from the darkness, out of the shadows for you. Let's see. I just think that you bringing balance to anything that is not of the sun. Because it's the moon. And what is the opposite of the moon? The sun. So you put in your love and towards it now. Let's see what you got here. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning financially this could be a brand new job making you feel nostalgic um a sense of uh yourself back way back when or this is a new job handed you handed to you by someone from your past But either way, you're getting a gift. A gift of someone. Maybe someone from your past is going to give you a gift. Because the six is clarifying this gift. Maybe when you learn to love your, yourself, excuse me, and balance. Learning how to, uh, to balance your finances. Learning how to create the balance in your life when it comes to the darkness. This could be someone from your past giving you something. Giving you the love that you need. To make you feel like yourself again. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is someone that you had to not, uh, I don't want to say be harsh. I want to say very cunning, very direct. Could be 
an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Clarify this. Queen of Swords. This is someone who you have been done with. When it comes to which way do I go? Juggling finances. Not making up their mind. You're done with it. You had to say, look, I'm done. When it comes to... So y'all have said goodbye. Um, this wishy-washy... Uh, seeing things in the past all these options and didn't know where to put your love all you were doing was looking back that's where that juggling came in and I see this uh, you know this is someone you had to say goodbye and it didn't even well it looks like y'all had something but it wasn't uh, stable at the moment. Let's see. Clarify the two pentacles. This is a commitment. Somebody with, or you were juggling a commitment. When it comes to the hangman, this is somebody who could not make up their mind. They didn't know what was up. They didn't know what was down. They were in limbo of, of the decision-making process when it comes to you. So you had to say, look, I'm done. I'm, look, I I'm done. I'm done. I'm cutting this cord. I know we had something going, but I'm tired of being left in hangman state. I, I just, I don't, I don't know what to do when it comes to having a commitment with you. There is the hermit. Wow. Virgo energy. This is someone... Who needs to go in and find their own sense of healing. Because you did. You have the movement when it comes to the star. See that star is in that lantern. He has to go find that. Clarify the hermit. Hermit. This is someone that needs, see, they left you. And they're the one that needs to figure out and have the victory like you did when it have when you have the the chariot with the star. That's movement through the war with your healing <laughs> this is kind of like the same thing but what they did to their self this is victory right he's got the wreath so he just came back right over the sabotage all the swords he put down he's like i'm out so this person left you and had the victory with leaving you and taking their swords or I think they just dropped their swords and left you with all the mental stuff so you've been like that's why you were done there must have been some mental burdens mentally that this person put back in your head bottom of the deck thank you Todd of not knowing which way to go and there's been a cycle completion. 
Yep. Even when it comes to your friends, friendships that you're not talking. And it says the same thing over again. You can't make this up, y'all. Look at this. The cycle completion with the, the friendship is like broke, right? You're not having this person taking a stand for their self, going in and giving to another situation when it comes to love and the movement that that person's given. So you're way, it's like waiting on problems to be broken hearted with your empress manifesting their own wish fulfillment is creating drama when it comes to stability of a family environment, the love. So, guys, we will see what does the planets, what is affecting you right now. I can't shuffle. Look how big these cards are. Look how long. Wait, I'm going to show you. Now, this is the big deck. This is the long deck of right away. <laughs> I can hardly put my hand. That's not a normal size dock. So I've got to shuffle them like this. But that's wild with your energy. Yeah, why should you sit around and wait when that person is uh, off doing what they want to do? They're not waiting on you. They're... Uh, I think they're manifesting something else or you found out about them manifesting something else and you're like no, I'm just going alright so let's see what is affecting you and I see it right here semi sextile It says, this aspect occurs when planets or other astrological points are 30 degrees from each other. When this aspect, occur, aspect occurs, the celestial bodies involved are in neighboring signs, which means there is potential for, friend, for a friendly connection. At the same time, this can also be a real disaster if they don't want to work together. When you spot a semi-sextile, consider how the different energies can be integrated for maximum potential. So if they don't work, it can be a real disaster if people don't exactly work together. So if things weren't working in your favor, that's probably why this person dipped. You know. Uh, let's see. Let's get you a Archangel a female Archangel card. These are rather new. I just got these. Um, I've only done a few readings with them and they're very accurate. Very accurate. Okay. Ready. And I see one popped out by itself. We're going to take it. Expect the best. Arkela Hope. Expect the best. Hmm. Expect the best. 
What else would you like to say? Tequila Hope. So, you're hoping for the best. I see you have a good heart. Okay, well, I'm leaving it at that bottom of the deck. Abundant step into overflow. Beautiful card. It reminds me of Hawaii. All right, guys, let's see. Treasures of Takashi. What would you like to say for cancer? And then we'll get you to see who you're dealing with and we'll be out from there. Guys, guess what? I'm getting ready to start recording my ghostly sightings again. They're piling up. Um, I've been trying to lose a little weight here. Just a little. Uh, let's see. I sure haven't been oh my gosh don't even I just want to go spirit don't do this what you think you get patience temperance card I mean openness let's read what would they like to say? Be patient. All things move as the timing requires. Quiet your mind. Take time to be with yourself with no expectations or push. Do not be anxious for results, but enjoy the gentle journey. In your busy world, do not be rushed or allow the impatience of others to push you into hasty actions. All things come to those who wait patiently. Openness. Openness creates an allowance of the self to be without judgment. Openness breaks down barriers, melts away fears, and allows creativity and communication to flow. Check your feelings. When are you being open? When you are being open, there will be no need to feel defensive. Let go all levels of fear, doubt, worry, and concern, and what you have left will be confidence, self-esteem, and love, all which function very well with openness. Bottom of the deck. Emotions. Come on. Come on, spirit. Feel your emotions and let them go. Do not harbor bad feelings from the past. Are you falling into the same holes time and time again? It may be time to look for the triggers that create negative feelings and do something about it. Is there an issue that you are too emotional about? Take a step back. Breathe. Give yourself some space. Love all of your feelings, not only the ones you judge to be good. Wow. All right, let's see. Who could you be dealing with? Oh, I can't see. All right, let's get a love. I love when I get to the end just to see because I'm telling you I've had some. What? What? I couldn't believe I mean, words come out, like words, and they're going, oh my God, that wasn't supposed to come out. You know it ain't, but Spirit says, we have a different route you need to take. Okay. Spirit, who is cancer? Who could cancer be dealing with? All my people who are my Cancerians, my cross watchers, give me the energy of this reading. Who 
who is watching spirit who are they dealing with or okay all right guys we have an e a j t another e y t b u n s r t p a n a w guys don't forget to please like share and subscribe namaste